Rosalia Gutierrez and Sadie Beecham were dating. They were just a few months into a new romance. But on May 19, 2020, Beecham became worried when she had not heard from Gutierrez in two days. When she went to check on him, he was nowhere to be found. But what she did find prompted her to call police. You will have difficulty finding a piece of furniture or a child's picture or a piece of child's artwork or a child's toy or a square foot of carpet that does not have blood. Police officers dispatched to Gutierrez's apartment found blood spatter throughout, doors, walls, ceiling, and a large pool of blood on the carpet. A detective says this crime scene is consistent with a person lying in the area and bleeding heavily over a period of time, and that it appeared that the person was struck multiple times with an object. Investigators say blood from the scene was a match to Gutierrez. Sadie Beecham pointed police to her ex-boyfriend, Zachariah Anderson. She allegedly told investigators he was jealous of her new relationship and had stalked and spied on her. Detectives tracked some of Gutierrez's movements during May of 2020 to Gutierrez's apartment, as well as a state park with a deep quarry of water. Despite their efforts to locate Gutierrez's body, police have not been successful. As a man, Rosalio Pocho Gutierrez Jr. had a personality that drew people to him. He was an optimist with an infectious laughter and a beautiful smile. Meanwhile, his family is in mourning as questions about his whereabouts go unanswered. While police don't have a body, they do have a suspect in his death. Zachariah Anderson is charged with stalking, first-degree homicide, and hiding a corpse. Last year, Anderson's case went to trial at the Kenosha County Courthouse with Judge Bruce Schrader presiding. Anderson's defense argue there is not enough evidence to put Anderson at the crime scene and that Beecham is exaggerating the friction in their relationship. The facts and the evidence in this case will show you that Mr. Anderson did not kill Mr. Gutierrez. Controversy over a witness's testimony prompted Judge Schrader to call a mistrial to give each side more time to investigate the claims of the witness. Anderson maintains his innocence and hopes this do-over will clear his name, while the Gutierrez family prays for answers and justice.